this is subcalc what subcalc does is it helps you to determine how much water how much oil and how much lye to use when you're formulating your own unique soap recipe subcalc helps you to do a calculation using either koh which is potassium hydroxide or now which is uh, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide I'm going to take my time and take you through how you would use soap calc to make any type of soap whether it's a solid hard bar liquid soap a semi solid cream soap or whatever type of soap you want to make let's just familiarize ourselves with soap calc the interface so that when you get on here you don't feel uh, inundated or overwhelmed with the various things happening on the subcalc website first and foremost you would have to search for subcalc the direct url is subcalc s-o-a-p-c-a-l-c dot net this will bring you to subcalc and what you can see here is now subcalc is collecting emails so you can either decide to enter your email or close that little button and on the subcalc website it's actually got a few videos uh, showing soap making for beginners so you can take your time and watch these videos at the top there are links that takes you to various parts of the subcalc website so when you click on the different links it takes you to the different pages there's a lot of resources on this uh, website i've been using it since 2007 so subcalc has been around for a very long time it's had different tweaks over the years and it's a website that you can certainly rely on So what you would need is to use the recipe calculator. So you click on the recipe calculator on the subcalc website and it would open this page for you. And this is where you're going to do your calculations. It's, it has adverts on both sides where you need to concentrate on is where it's numbered one two three and four so first you select the type of lie you're using so under number one you would see that i've selected 90 percent koh for instance now depending on the light that you're using it might be it might have impurities in it so you'd have to select accordingly in case you're wondering how you can tell if your lye contains impurities always look on the packaging of your lye it would indicate something like 99 percent 90 percent and it barely ever goes uh, below 90 percent so your packaging would always indicate the um, amount of impurities uh, sorry the strength of your lie if there is any impurities you hardly ever get light that is a hundred percent it would always indicate so when you come on soap calc assuming that your your lie package indicates 99 percent or 98 and you come on soap calc in this case you can ignore clicking uh, the little box next to 90 percent and this is only um in effect when you're using koh i have never seen this on a now packaging before so with now it's more straightforward with koh uh, it would indicate uh, for those of you who are doing the african black soap training i would add a separate recording at this point for you when you're using soap calc to do your calculations number two you would enter the weight of the oils that you're using so you can choose to select pounds ounces or grams i'm more familiar with grams so that's why i've chosen grams and then number three it asks you to select the percentage of water here you've got three options you can either choose water as percentage of oils lye concentration 
and water to light ratio don't sweat this if it doesn't make sense to you as you can see there is already a figure a number th 38 entered here you can just simply stick to that that is an industry standard it's only when you understand this whole part of soap making that you can begin to tweak with um, making a choice out of the three options here so as a beginner just stick with the 38 that is entered there so number four is fragrance the regulations in the EU makes the amount of fragrance to be used slightly higher uh, when you use soap calc. So I, what I tend to do is I don't use number four at all. I use regular old calculator to calculate how much fragrance to use in my soap. Now, if you're making the soap to sell, then I presume that you have an, an assessment for your recipe on your assessment your uh, cosmetic safety assessor would indicate the percentage of fragrance to use so you have to go with that if you're making soap as a hobby then i would suggest that you don't add any more than two 2.5 percent or maybe three percent of the overall weight and the way to work out that is by using the calculator and you if you wanted to work out three percent of a thousand grams for instance you would do three divided by a hundred times a thousand that would give you the weight of the overall fragrance to use in your soap right now once you have finished putting the details at the top in portion one two three and four you come down where i'm scrolling as you can see on the screen and here there's a list of different oils that you can use for making soup this list contains botanical oils and animal fats and you select the oils that you want to use once you pick the oil that you want to use you need to click on the plus sign for it to be populated in the empty space where it says recipe oil list so you would add up all the oils that you want to use in the recipe oil list portion you can either use one oil or as many oils as you want there is no restrictions at all next to recipe oil list you will find percentage and you would also find grams what this is is that you have the option of entering the weight of each oil you're using or you can decide by entering a percentage so as you can see i have chosen shea butter palm oil beeswax and sunflower oil this i need to do a disclaimer here this is not an actual soap recipe this is just an example so don't worry about it so much and i have chosen to use percentages rather than weight to put in the amount of each oil i'm going to use so from here you click on calculate and it's going to calculate the recipe for you to the right hand side where i'm hovering the mouse a, a you can see some figures that have populated the blue spacing and these figures are indication of how creamy your soap is going to turn out the amount of bubbles your soap is going to produce the hardness and how cleansing the soap is going to be and then towards the bottom it gives some uh, properties of the oils so just to go over um in number one you select the lie you're going to use number two you select the weight option that you're going to use so, and you go by the weighing system that you're familiar with and what your scales recognize it so once you click on view result and view results always opens in another page so you can come back and look at your original recipe and make amendments to it if you want right so what we're looking at here this you can actually print it out soap calc is telling you the amount of water lye and oils to use to make up your recipe now with the oils you chose those oils yourself remember that you chose the oils that you wanted to use so let's presume that those are the oils you have at home uh, when you come to use soap calc so soap calc would indicate 
the oils that you chose to use and the percentages of oils that you wanted to use. So subcalc is only going to tell you how much lye you need for your amount of oil and also how much water to use. So remember that I chose the four oils, shea butter, palm oil, beeswax, and sunflower oil. So that is it there. And then I chose the quantities I was going to use in percentages, which was 80%, 10%, 5%, and 5%. And it's broken it down in weight, actual weight, which is pounds or ounces or grams for me. So with shea butter that I wanted to use 80%, it's telling me that if my oils are a thousand grams, then I need 800 grams of shea butter. Now, when you scroll further down, you have the option to hide or show graph. If you click to show graph, this is what you're going to get. There's going to be a graph that demonstrates certain properties of your soap. This part of soap calc, you can add notes for yourself okay guys so this is uh, the quick summary of how to use soap calc I hope that it's been helpful to you feel free to leave me any questions regarding this uh, just in case there's anything I overlooked so that I can update with that information okay thank you and join me again next time bye bye